Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today I've got a project of a little bit of a difference today. It is um, a tea light holder made from a tuna can and some clothes pegs. Um, it's one that I made, um, I did this um, a little while ago. I saw a project on Pinterest, but actually it was just um, plain at clothes pegs and they were using it as a plant holder um, I kind of you know as I was looking around the house um, I found that um, I, little Ikea um, glass votive holders fit perfectly inside because obviously you wouldn't put a tea light in with something wooden for safety reasons obviously um, and I decided I wanted to do something different with it now I did it originally I, I decorated with uh, washi tape but my two-year-old he decided he was going to deconstruct it and not long after I joined Stampin' Up, I decided I was, you know, going to see what else I could stamp. And this was made with the Circle Circus stamp set, which is now, um, well, it's retiring. I don't know if there are any left. Um, but I wanted to make another version of it. And um, today I'm going to be making it with the Best of Flower stamp set, which I think is lovely. I think that this is available till the end of March, but um, it's only being sort of uh, promoted now until the end of June. Um, and I liked it. It's, it's, you know, nice small designs. And they are actually quite small, so they sit nicely on a card, um, or, in this case, on clothes pegs. So let me put that out to one side. I've already done some that I've done here. I've chosen five colours. This one is Night of Navy. Um, and I've chosen a colour that is going to be on its way into the catalogue soon. This is Crushed Curry. Um, I've also done Cherry Cobbler over here. And then the last two colours I'm going to do a garden green and elegant eggplant. Scooch those out of the way. Do garden green next, I think. I've already prepped them up on on um, blocks. Not quite the right size blocks, but you know, that's okay. And basically you need 25 pegs to fit round a tuna can. Definitely wash it out first. It would be not very nice smelling. And all literally you do is you just ink up your stamp, same as you would normally. And you just stamp onto the side and that's as simple as it is I think I'll do two of those there is you know on pegs depending on on where you get them from there are some sides that are better than others this one's a bit rough on this side so I'll take the smoother side and that's it I'll have this one here yeah see this one's got um, a dark brown patch I mean these were inexpensive I think they were maybe 70p something like that in a shop in town, you know, cost pence and obviously the tuna can after the children had eaten the tuna. Um, you know, that was nothing and it was only the tea light and I think those come in sets of three for £1.50 or something like that. You know, it's, it's you know, a quick and simple way to brighten up your dining table if you, you know, that way inclined or maybe just a room in the house. Just something different and it's, it's an inexpensive way to change I suppose. I need to clean up my stamps. So I've got my stamping scrub here. I've already sprayed this with the stamping mist. It's very good this. I and mean, look at that, immediately clean so you can see how dark it was originally. Clean as a whistle, brilliant. So that's those done. And then the last colour is the Elegant Eggplant. Let's bring my other five pegs in and then I'll show you how to put it together. So again, let's get this round where I'm not going to stick my hands in it. There we go, that's that one. Actually I can get that right out of the way now. That would be my cat yowling outside the office door seems determined to know when um, when I've got a video going she'll come and either cough outside the door or she'll shout outside the door just letting us all know she's there I think I'll do two of that one mm, see decisions decisions which side here she comes and goes the office door there we go and then the last one just onto here. So that's all the stamping done. Move those out of the way. 
and then literally it's just a case of putting it together so I've got my spare tuna can I don't like to follow any particular kind of order you know it's just all a bit random so I'm just going to grab any old peg doesn't matter there's no you know I'm not trying to do it in colour order or anything like that although I do want a yellow can't see the yellow ones there we go Pop a yellow one in there and if you you know if you fit them together quite tightly they will you know nestle up and you can fit like I say it's 25 that fit on this um, you could do them in the colour that you know maybe your kitchen's colours um, or if you want to put it in your lounge you know, the colours of the room in there And just don't let your two-year-old son get hold of it. I couldn't believe it. He sat and peeled all the washi tape off. <laughs> he had a good time. You know, he enjoyed himself. But, um, yeah, I wasn't less pleased. Nice little bits of washi tape all over the kitchen table. Bless him. Right, let's make these a bit tighter. right now. Oh, why won't that fit? Maybe I'll use different pegs this time. Oh well, not to worry. But there's the tea light holder. Um, and like I say, they come in, I'm sure it's a set of four and they sort of stack like that with a little little um, cardboard bit round it. Pop your tea light in. Definitely, definitely have glass please because this is wood and it would just be not good for safety reasons. And that is as simple as it is. And it's a bit of fun you know it's not expensive you could put a plant in it like I say my, the original idea I saw in, on Pinterest was, was just sort of I, don't, I think it was a green cactus or something like that um, but it's just a bit of fun and I'm sure I will change it and I'm, I will probably do a video of me putting washi tape all over it but it's fun it's different and um, it's easy to do so thank you very much for watching if you've got any questions you want to know how to get the stamp set it, like I say it's very pretty it's the best of so it's original design from way back when um, but let me know thank you bye